I'm hoping this video is going to help. Uh, if you've ever had something physically happening in your body, some sort of pain, uh, discomfort of any sort, whether it's an ache or a sharp pain, <clears throat> and you you worry, of course, you have concern over it, and then you go to your doctor and he or she can't really find anything definitive. So they send you for testing and you get blood work done and you get an x-ray and an ultrasound and all these things. And nothing has been diagnosed. There's no diagnostic answer to your the pain that you're feeling. Uh, meaning they can't find a particular organ <laughs> that's malfunctioning to create this pain. And yet it still exists. And Ultimately, what you're being told is it's all in your head. And then you start questioning yourself, am I making this up? Am I losing my shit? Am I actually imagining this pain? And I I just, I mean, really think about that for a second. That just because there was no diagnostic conclusive evidence for whatever you're feeling in this intricate, delicate, yet powerful, complicated body of yours, that just because some expert told you that they couldn't find anything, that you then start thinking you're going a little nuts or that you're making it up, meaning you're faking it you're actually starting to create self-doubt and self-distrust in your own self and your body. I, when you do ask yourself, am I making this up? I want you to say yes, <laughs> because you are. But that doesn't mean it's fake or that you're insane or crazy or, you know, whatever, whatever weak, I, I don't know, um, out of control um, not doing it right, whatever the story is behind the question, am I making this up, is creating for you in this spiral of self-doubt and disbelief in yourself. I want you to just stop it right there and say, yeah, I'm making this up. And there's a reason. You making it up doesn't mean it's imaginative. It means that you have created it. You have made it come up. Your mind and body connection, whatever thoughts or experiences that you're having is creating the physical reaction that you're experiencing. It's just that maybe you're not used to listening to your body and we just tend to, and it's not your fault. We've been taught this over and over again, and it's not those who taught us. It's not their fault either. It's just the way it is. It's the human experience right now. That when you start to feel something physically uncomfortable or painful, we go to an expert, the doctor, and they're going to tell us what's wrong with us. Hey, tell me what I'm feeling. <laughs> Instead of just going, mm, I wonder what this is, and kind of widening the lens of your life to find out, okay, my body's trying to tell me something. I, I am experiencing or thinking something, and my body is feeling it. It expresses itself through feeling. Your brain expresses itself through thought. The two work together and you are one complete whole being working in this awesome, harmonious relationship with mind and body. And when that's disconnected, then you're, you're not even trusting your body at all. You're like, oh my God, something's wrong. I got to go see this person rather than going, what's going on? What are you trying to tell me, body? What's this pain all about? Of course, if it's acute pain, we're going to go to the doctor and we'll probably end up in emergency and get our appendix taken out or something, right? Like, yes, right? I'm talking about when it's a chronic pain and nobody can tell you what's happened. Maybe you've got shoulder pain, but you never fell, you know? Or And they're just like, oh, and there's nothing structurally wrong. There's x-rays and nothing's happening. There's ultrasound, nothing's showing up. And you're like, yeah, but it's still there. And you're like, am I making this up? Yes, you are. <laughs> you've made it. You've created it. 
with whatever experience in your life or thoughts that you're given, your body is interpreting it and it's saying, hey, something's going on. We need to we need to discover something here, but we just don't take that step because that's frightening and unknown and fear fear inducing, right? We're like, oh my God, I don't know how to deal with this. And if I open up this can of worms, I don't know where it's going to take me. But the bottom line is that you've just, you know, your body has probably subtly told you things like, oh, we should probably sleep here. <laughs> we should take a nap. And you're like, no, I can't nap. I need, I've got too much to do. Or let's take a deep breath. And you don't even hear that. And you're still shallow breathing as you're making your way through. Like, I mean, just think about how you're breathing right now. And then just take a deep breath. Or you really, you know, it would be really awesome. Your body's telling you to, could we just get a little more protein in here or a little more fiber or, you know, <laughs> a little more natural food? And you're like, I don't have time. I'm going to go and pick up that pizza. Understandable. No blame here. No shaming. I'm just saying there's subtle cues that are going on and we just kind of dismiss them because life is fucking busy. And there's so many other people that we're thinking about and we got so much going on that we don't give ourselves just that minute or two to sit down and look at the, at the big scope and kind of widen our lens a little bit and go, okay. And then all of a sudden something goes drastically different and we feel a pain. And because we go to the doctor and the doctor then says, I can't find anything. If he does awesome. And off you go. But if it's like, I, uh, I got nothing. I think you're making it up. I think it's all in your head. And you're like, oh my God, <laughs> what's wrong with me? Nothing. You are making it up. And that's totally natural and normal. And that's what we do. We are making up everything. We're making up everything. We're creating everything. So it means that at this point, you got to have a little chat with your body and go on and go, okay, body. What's going on? What do you need? What do you need from me? What are you trying to tell me? And if that's daunting and scary and unavailable, then reach out to somebody who can help you with that. The caveat to that is, though, you're reaching out, not thinking, I can't do this. Not thinking, I need you to tell me what I'm feeling. You find the answer. But reaching out saying, I need a little bit of guidance to help reconnect me to me so that I'm empowering myself with the ability to know what is going on and what my body is telling me and finding my own way of comforting and, and coming to my own solutions that's right for me and owning my own agency and ability owning my own self-trust and my self-respect and my self-compassion and having the patience to sit with my body and, and listen and connect my mind and my body, my thoughts and my feelings and coming to my own conclusions rather than looking for a diagnosis from somebody else. And when that diagnosis doesn't happen, I must be nuts. I'm making this up is not a derogatory thing. <laughs> we make it so. We make it like we're crazy or incompetent or whatever. I don't even know what word. You making it up is legitimate. It and And it doesn't take away the legitimacy of whatever pain it is that you're feeling. You're, instead of saying, oh my God, I'm making this up. Say, I'm creating this and know that you are and there's nothing wrong with that. And the cool thing is if you've created it, you're going to be able to find the solution for it. You just don't believe that you can because we've been brought up to not believe in ourselves and to disconnect from our body. It's almost like we walk around going, holy shit, I got a body. What? <laughs> you know, like we're cut off from the neck. And we just, we're all up here and we're not down here at all. And this is really foreign territory. And it really shouldn't be because it's totally you. It's yours. It's your home. It's the home for all of your feelings and all the things. It's, it's what makes life an experience. It's love and pain. 
Okay. So I just really wanted to address the question, am I making this up? No matter what it is, whether it's a physical pain or emotional pain, answer it with yes, and then change it to, I create this. And you must do that without self-judgment or thinking, why would I create pain? You're not, that's not a self sabotage thing. That's your body trying to express itself to you. And then work with your body to figure out how it is that you're going to lessen that pain. And it's usually just listening will ease it. Slowing down enough to listen. And then opening up whatever doors you can towards a little bit of change. It doesn't have to be a great big leap. It's just little tiny changes like deep breathing. Super cheesy, but so effective. Okay. Anyways, if you need some help, I'm here. You know that, right? Just reach out and I can help. But again, it would be you reaching out for help with discovering it within yourself, not do this for me kind of thing, right? Not not in, I don't think I can do this. I need you to feel for me or tell me what I'm feeling. But in, I want to find it within me. Help me, guide me to, to reconnect again because you were totally connected before. Okay, that's it for now. I'm going to awkward look for the button. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.